you know, I saw a comment the other day talking, you know, not in my videos, but complaining about Sanderson's use of humor. And it reminded me of a scene that literally made me laugh out loud. Like, it's like, you know how people say like, oh, that book was so hilarious. Like, if I read a funny book, I'm not like laughing. I'm just like, this is my reaction. I read something funny that's really funny in a book. That's it, you know, that's my, that's my reaction. There is a, a scene in Oathbringer where I actually stopped, laughed, and read the scene to my wife who has no idea who these characters are, but it's still funny and it works. The scene really shows a sense of humanity. Chapter 55 in Oathbringer, titled Alone Together. The members of Bridge 4 are talking about Renarin and how he is basically learning how to read, which is considered a feminine trait. The Alethi culture considers it a feminine trait. The men in Bridge 4 are getting a little weirded out, right? A little bit of toxic masculinity there. But they end up discussing Dre's sexuality. First off, I just want to say this about fantasy books, science fiction. You can literally do anything. You can do anything in stories, so why why create a world that is equally, if not more, homophobic than our own? Of course, that, that comes down to choices of the writer. I'm not saying a writer has to do these things, I'm just saying, why not? I'll just read the passage. So, Kaladin asked, what's the problem? Sigzel can read his own language. Storms, I can read glyphs. It's not the same, Scar said. It's feminine, Dre said. Dre, Kaladin said, you are literally courting a man. So, Dre said? Yeah, what are you saying, Cal? Scar snapped. Nothing, I just thought Dre might empathize. That's hardly fair, Dre said. Yeah, Lopin added. Dre likes other guys. That's like he wants to be even less around women than the rest of us. It's the opposite of feminine. He is, you could say, extra manly. So, I don't know how funny that is. A combination of like how sexist the men are being while also not having this internalized homophobia. I really appreciate Brandon Sanderson for including pieces of humor like that. It's just funny, I don't know. That's definitely the funniest moment I've read in the books. But what do you all think about this scene? What specific moment in the Stormlight Archive made you laugh the most? Because honestly, Sanderson doesn't get enough appreciation for his humor. That's all I gotta say. Have a good one. Bye-bye.